what would you say is like uh, the the challenge people are trying that uh, what do you, what do you think the challenge people are facing with trying to overcome this this mindset of uh, you know uh, just having the challenge of not building their wealth or w- is it like their habits is it their mindset is what, what what would you say is like maybe a few of the challenges people are trying to overcome and what would you say is the solution that people can take or use to overcome those. Yeah. So look, it's really all of the above, right? So part of it is mindset where they feel like money is this bad thing and you're greedy or you're evil in some way if you're trying to make money. And that is just not the case. And that's something that you have to get over again, if you're going to be able to take the steps necessary, but also it's getting educated. Okay. So if, even if you can get over the fact that, okay, I don't think money's evil. Well, now you have to understand how money works and what, you know, the tools that you need to have in your toolkit in order to pursue it and grow it and protect it over time. And so uh, there's there's a mindset gap there, but there's also a knowledge gap that we have to be serious about filling before we can we can take the steps, uh, you know, along that path. And so um, and, 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 and one of the real things, you know, Anthony, if I if there's a third one to say is that a lot of people, even if they have those two things, okay, it's not evil. I learned a little bit more about money. The, the last thing that they have to get over is that they feel like they don't deserve it. Mm. Okay. So they still feel like, well, you know, who am I to have all of these things? Who, who am I to have this, you know, nice job in a corner office? Who am I to fly on private jets? Who am I to have a big house where I can take care of my family? And so if you don't believe that you deserve it, nobody else is going to believe it either. And definitely no one's going to hand it to you. Mm -hmm. You know, there are a lot of people that I ask and I say, Hey, do you want to be a millionaire? And they go, well, you know, it might be nice, but I don't necessarily have to be a millionaire. Well, if you think that way, chances are you won't be right because it doesn't happen by accident. So if you can't even be comfortable enough to say, yeah, yeah, I want to be a millionaire. It's going to be extremely, extremely difficult for you to get there. Right. So what, so from the educational standpoint, what are some uh, maybe some good tools or resources or maybe even uh, some book recommendations um, that you would give someone to maybe start to get on that path to at least get themselves educated on it? Well, certainly, uh, you know, I try to pro- provide a lot of resources. So, you know, I've been doing a biweekly segment on the CBS affiliate in Pittsburgh for about eight years now. So awesome. uh, folks can find me there every other Monday and all of those segments I post on my website, uh, robwilson.tv. But I would love um, if your audience would give me a subs- you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, robwilson.tv slash I'm sorry youtube.com slash rob wilson tv i'm getting very much uh, more aggressive on that platform and so Mm -hmm. that's where a lot of my content is going to live and so um definitely subscribe to my youtube channel but for a book recommendation uh one of the things that really really opened my eyes was rich dad poor dad one of my Uh, favorites i would i would read that original version now there's a bunch of variations on it you know and he's really milked that franchise but go read the original rich dad poor dad and i would also read think and grow rich Mm. those two books um really really helped shaped the way that i feel and think and act uh when it comes to money yeah i I would definitely second that um i've read rich uh rich dad poor dad one of my favorite books is probably in my top 10 favorite books of all time and uh think and grow rich um napoleon hill i mean he's he's a he's a genius i mean um, that book definitely, those two books alone definitely helped shape my mindset a lot more, helped me understand money a lot more and how to utilize it a lot more. So those are definitely two good books uh, that I would recommend as well. <laughs> <laughs>